Okay, okay, okay. Let's. Hmm. Okay, it's on the screen now. Right, the game is on. Let's have a chill session today. Not much to do. Just racing and collecting some card. Yeah, let's let's go down memory lane and name this someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that should be all right. Okay. Game data will be created. Yes. I can't even early so I can see your cats running. <laughs> Hi Keong, welcome to the stream. Today we are just chilling. Chilling, chilling. Playing some nostalgic games. Would you like to see the description? No, I don't. So yeah, how is everyone? How are you today? And yeah, we are just going to um, chill today. Chill. Let's watch this movie. Wow, it's lagging so much. I'm not sure. Let, let me change the settings. Is it lagging? Is the game lagging? Probably. It's probably lagging. Oh my god. Right. Okay, it's no longer lagging. Should be fine there. Oh, nice music. The moon over the castle. Ooh. Nice, nice choir, legendary. For a game uh, from 2004, this game looks great. Human animation, oh nice voice. Is this, is this animated? I think so. Yeah, it's animated. Yep, it's animated, alright. Oh, maybe we'll just skip this. And let's get into the, into the game. Grand Turismo mode. Yep. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while since I played this game. It's I don't know how many years has it been. Wow. Oh, this music is so nostalgic. Hmm. It's used cars, early nineties. Second-hand car dealer try to pick up a performance car at bu budget price. Maybe you can find unexpected bargains. There are three second-hand dealers located on this map. License license examinations are currently being held. Begin by obtaining your national B license. If you have it, uh, 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 yeah, yep, yep. Let's do the license first. National B. Acceleration and braking. Let me check. Let me check my controls first. Uh, are we using the analog for this? Wait, this is just the display or race on oh, manual screen display. Uh huh. Steering display. None. Sound. Stereo. Dolby Pro Logic. Oh, I don't know if this works though. Stereo. 
Okay, um, controllers. Yep. Do I want? I don't want vibration, so let's turn that off. And button config. Okay, uh, accelerator. Yeah, it should be all right. Units miss. Units MPH. Uh, you're right. That's fine. Yep. Let's do this. Oh my god, license test. Been a while. That's not a goal. Ah, retry. That's bad. Almost silver. Let's try it again. Let's see if I can get. Oh, actually, it's going to be hard. Oh, this it's even worse. Let's see. Let's try again. I want to prevent wheels, 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 uh, wheel spin here, if possible, because wheel spin at so much time. Oh, oh, just eight thousandths of a eight, eight thousandths of a second to gold. Let's see. Maybe if I, I have to break earlier. Oh my god. Not gold. Oh my god, eight thousands of a second again. Oh, breaking earlier should be should do. I need to I need to break earlier. Come on. Oh, oh my God! Still not not gold. Still not gold. Oh my god, no. Fail trick. Compared to 8, this is so much of a change, yeah. I have actually since, ever since. Oh shoot. Welcome to the, welcome to the stream. Actually, this is the last uh, Gran Turismo game I played. I've never played any other GT game after the 4th. Oh my god! Oh, gold, come on! Yeah, this is the last uh, Gran Turismo game I played. I've never played any other Gran Turismo after this, actually. This is um, PS2. Yeah. Oh my god! Four hundreds of a second. This was in PS2, like uh, released back in 2004. 
so it's quite an old game. It's like, um, it's 19 years old now. <laughs> Come on! Ah, I can't get gold. Oh, let me try one more time, I guess. Uh, that's not good, that's not good. <laughs> I'm trying to get gold. Oh yes! Gold! Nice. <laughs> yes, gold! Next license test. Let's see if we can get gold here as well. Another acceleration and braking. Let's see. Uh, 500 meters now. Uh, too far. If I could break without, um, without locking, without locking up, it would be great. Oh, almost. One hundredth of a second. Come on, break, break, break. Too soon. Oh, too soon. Let's see. Let's see. Wow, this brings back memories. Really. Oh, still. Oh my god. For that gold, yes, gold. This might be the last gold I have, I will ever get. <laughs> oh, what am, what am I doing? I need to do the next, the next license test. Right, basics of cornering. Oh my god. Let's see. Thirty. 0.9 seconds. Oh my god, the the wheels the wheel spin. This is going to be slow. Oh shoot, no. No. That's slow. Is, is traction control on? I'll have to turn off the ABS and uh, traction control later. shouldn't have shifted down well we'll see uh, how how fast are we on oh, just bronze not good retry I don't know if I'm going to get gold here if I'm able to but, uh, let's see oh the wheel spin <laughs> 
so much wheel spin on this car. This is going to be slow. Okay, Silver, not bad. Seems you're not quite comfortable with the controller. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played a racing game. It's hard <laughs> to play with a controller. But yeah, I wish I had the money to buy, like to get a uh, steering wheel set up, but yeah, it's expensive. A steering wheel setup is really expensive. But uh, it's one of my yeah, one of my dream to have a steering wheel setup. Maybe someday. <laughs> someday and maybe like go, go into a um a serious, like more serious online uh, racing. Should have touched the curb. I should. Uh, I should be in the on the curb if I want to. Yeah, it's not going to be good. Let's see. Uh, should I be golding this? Or should I be getting gold in here in this, or should I just move on? Maybe get gold next time later. And yeah, we just focus on finishing all the license. Oh. Yeah, this is going to be slow. Yeah, maybe I should just focus on finishing the... Yeah, let's focus on finishing the license test for now. Uh, we have silver already, so yeah. Should be fine. Sick. B4, basics of corning. Oh, with Sylvia. I love that Sylvia. Oh, this is a beautiful car. Yeah, I, th I think we should finish uh, the license first, so you can go to races. Races. I'm becoming a V racer, not V racist. <laughs> to become a racist, <laughs> racist. <laughs> to become a racer, a race driver. I shouldn't have... Oh god. Uh, try one more time for the silver. I chose the wrong uh, gear. Let's go. And maybe one day... So there's a 24 hour race in this game. Maybe one day we could do a 24 hour stream. <laughs> Like during the holidays or something. Yeah, no, no, no. Becha, becha racing. <laughs> Yeah, let's focus on finishing the license and we get to the racist. Lab guide run. Right. Ah, okay, this one. I hate the circuit circuit. Right, the pace car. Okay, get, get into power. Oh my god. 
control. It's really hard to use the controller in the racing games. <laughs> oh my god. Especially since this is an old game, a PS2 game, you can't use the... You can't use the left and right shoulder buttons to acceler uh, to accelerate and, accelerate and brake. It's still using the right analog to uh, to accelerate and brake, which is not op uh, not optimal. Well, like newer games, we we can use the shoulder buttons to uh, to accelerate and and brake. It's much more. Um, it's much more flexible. Oh my god, yeah, bronze. Yeah, seriously, uh, like uh, using the right, using the right analog, using the analog to drive, to accelerate, and to brake is much harder to control. Okay, one kilom. Is this how many meters is this? This is a 500 meters. I think it's a 500 meters. Or... 400. Ah, that's not... That's too soon. Breaking too soon. Renault McGann. The wheel spin! Oh my god! The wheel spin. Just massive, massive wheel spin. This one. Alright, 500 meters. I don't know where, when we should break. Ah, oh, too soon. Oh my god. I want to hear a cat meowing like a sewer car racing. Me! <laughs> meow! 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 <laughs> meow! 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 Oh, it's too late now. Well, we we'll still get uh, silver, so. Well, yeah, let's go. Meow! 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 <laughs> okay, acceleration and braking for one, probably one kilometer. Wow, such wheel spin. Oh my god! Oh, silver. Well, uh, good enough, I guess. Silver is good enough. Now, uh, what's next? Uh, basics of cornering. Right. Let's go. How many seconds am I getting? I think this is will this will be bronze, not good. Yeah, maybe we'll try one more time, see if we can get silver. I think I took the wrong line. I need to Yep. That's much better line, but still not good enough. Oh, still not good. Silver is good enough to make some chocolate. <laughs> oh, it's, speaking about chocolate, I, re I, I, I I'm craving for chocolate. 
I really, I, I want some choc, chockies right there. Dark chocolate, like 50% dark chocolate would be nice. Ah, oh, still not good. Come on. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh. <laughs> not good. Right, let's go. Mm, still not a, still not good. Oh my god. Oh come on, one more time. If this is not still not doing good, if still still not a silver, then we'll we'll move on. Blade breaking. Power early. Yeah, this is not a still not a silver. Ah, it's faster though. But yeah, let's move on. Next. Maneuver around the cones. Oh my god, coffee break. Oh my god. Oh my god, not this one. Shoot. Oh god, this car. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh no. Let's. I think I should change the view for this one. Should I? Um. Oh shoot! <laughs> I hit a cone. Nightmare coffee break. I want to have one of these, like in real life, one of these cars. Oh shoot! <laughs> yeah, I really want to have one of these K cars in real life. Yeah, like they're they're chic and and very very appealing, very cute, and they they don't use lot uh, they don't drink uh, petrol. As well, silver, not bad. They're quite economic. Uh, their engine is like only 500, 500 cc or something 500, 600, 700 cc. So, yeah, I, I wish I can have one of those, <laughs> but they're expensive, crazy expensive, especially locally. Like their price locally is very inflated because they're uh, they are imported. So yeah, never. But they're very practical. Like they're small. It's easy to maneuver around the uh, around uh, town, around city, and they look great. Especially with that, with that uh, canopy down. <laughs> okay, guided lab run, two minutes. Hey Argo, welcome to the stream. How are you today? Oh, I, it's it's, uh, it's October. I should have played some. I should play some horror games. Maybe I'll continue with the aliens. Maybe later around this week. The track is hard to see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, maybe I'll play. I'll, I'll continue with the aliens for the uh, spooky October later this week. But tomorrow I have a collab with Raimu again, continuing the way out. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> But 
but yeah, maybe I should continue. It's been a while. I should continue the alien uh, aliens isolation for Spooky Tober. Okay, gimme, gimme, gimme the slipstream. Gimme slipstream. Yep, so the slipstream is kicking just fine. Um, maybe we'll be getting bronze again. Oh shoot, come on. Um, yeah. Like it depends. Um, everyone's different. And everyone's finger is different. And especially if your hand is not, like, if you have a smaller hand, it might be a little bit, uh, difficult to play some stuff but it's it's also the same with uh, people with uh, bigger hands bigger hands might also hinder you from playing some stuff uh, effectively so yeah everyone's just different there's no plus and minus like if you can't play some things properly it's Sometimes it might not be because your technique is bad, but it might just be because of your physiology. How your hands are, your fingers are. How your muscles are. So it depends. Like if you have a smaller hand, uh, you might have trouble playing like uh, bigger intervals, like an octave or maybe a tenth. I can barely play a tenth, like just barely. But I can, I still can play it, just barely. But even sometimes playing an octave is uh, can be tiring if you have smaller hands. So yeah, it's uh, it's um yeah, bigger hands, smaller hands. They all have their uh benefits and disadvantages. Like, uh, like, um, having, s having bigger hands doesn't mean that you'll be much better in playing the piano, but also the same with smaller hands. Having smaller hands doesn't mean that you'll be, that you'll have a worse time to in playing piano. Shikote, am I late? No, you are, well, you are just, like, no, you're not late. We're not. We're just. We're. We're just starting. Not long ago. We're just doing some license tests here, so it's fine. Okay, rally. I. I really hate the rally in Gran Turismo, to be honest. Yeah, I really hate rally in Gran Turismo, to be honest. <laughs> hey, Razor, welcome. How are you? How are you today? How is your week? So yeah, we are still just playing. We're just we're we're still in the license test, so it's fine. Don't worry. We still have long to go. Ah, uh, this, this is, this one, I hate this stage. Seventeen, eighteen, ah, oh, right. Your song is good. <laughs> 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 T 
touch some grass. I'm getting carnival fantasm and flesh wrecks from this. <laughs> carnival fantasm, oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah. Basaka! <laughs> Gable car, oh my god. Yeah, carnival fantasm. Such a stupid, stupid, but fun, fun to watch. Oh, uh, anime, OVA, or uh, yeah. It's yeah. I love a carnival fantasy, but I love grand, um, grand fantasy. You know, what's it's called? Uh, grand con, oh, grand fantasy or grand carnival? I forgot. Wait, uh, my AC is suddenly hot. Let me check. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Let's continue. Oh. Uh, wait. Damn, I'm earworm your song. <laughs> wait, why am I doing this again? I stupid mate. Touch some grass, mate. <laughs> it's time to touch some grass. Oh, touch some grass. Yeah. Barely. Oh my god. It's time to touch some grass. Yeah. <laughs> Barely. Oh my god. Barely. It's silver, but I don't care anymore. Let's just. Uh, Let's just try our best to just finish the license so we can do the races and be a racist. <laughs> be a racist. <laughs> be a racer and collect some cars. Oh my god, yeah. This is bad. Earworm. <laughs> oh. Oh, actually, actually, I, I, I can, I need to touch some grass after failing to get jacks on and they all. Oh, actually, actually, uh, the fail music for the license test. Uh, <laughs> listen to the fail music. Uh, you might. Listen to this. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> the license fail music is just it resembles my song actually. <laughs> it's kind of like my song. I think I unconsciously like I unconsciously made my song that way because of this song. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally made uh, made a song based on that uh, that that fail music. Just so similar to my song. Oh. <laughs> oh, and oh, oh my god. And uh it's uncanny because in license in the in in Gran Turismo 4 in this game's license says you fail if you touch the grass not really touch the grass but if your car goes off the grass for too much like yeah touch some grass oh <laughs> it's like a uh, accidental uh, reference touch poison grass <laughs> It's time to touch some grass. Oh, touch some grass. Yeah, it's time to touch some grass. Yeah, touch some grass. Oh. <laughs> when you've been cooping up for months inside your room, you're getting delirious of your fate, of your anime waifu. 
You burn your wallet cause you want her attention too. Don't know what else to tell you, bruv. It's time to touch some grass. Oh, touch some grass. Yeah. It's time to touch some grass. Yes. Touch some grass. Oh, get your ass out. <laughs> Forbidden grass. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not fo focusing on this. <laughs> you saw a random guy having fun on your social media. You launch a replay. <laughs> you got offended and you launch your reply like Meteor. You thought you found the argument it couldn't have been easier. But everyone just held you, bro. It's time to touch some grass. Oh, touch some grass. Yeah, it's time to touch some grass. Yes, touch some grass. Oh, graduation test. Oh my god, if I finish this test, am I graduating? I'm going to graduate, guys. Announcement I'm going to graduate. In the license test. <laughs> what car am I using though? Oh, the BMW. Oh my god. Grass. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Oh, people. Fail. Oh my god, I failed. I failed. That's a bad lap. Yeah. Yeah. This is where the real fun begins. Yeah. Oh my god, I touched the road. I I I, I <laughs> This is so stupid. Oh my god. Oh. That's some brass. Yeah. It's time to touch some grass. Yeah. Oh my god, am I failing again? It's so hard to control this car. Okay, I'm not failing. I would rather having a test like this to get a driver's license. Oh my god, I'm graduating, guys. I graduated. I graduated. Wow. Congratulations on graduating. Certified driver. Nice. I have graduated. Congratulations. Oh, a car. A Volkswagen Lupo. Volkswagen Lupo. Okay. Oh my god. The rest is just bronze, 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 bronze. <laughs> Oops, why did I choose that? Oh, come on. Shall we continue with the license again? So, like, we just finish the license up and continue to uh, do the races later. Be a racist later. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's, I think, let's try special. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, this actually, yeah. This, these uh, license tests are fun. Nice. Now you need to replace Mrs. Puff to teach teach SpongeBob. <laughs> oh my God, I can't do that. I'm going to die. Okay, not doing great, but uh, let's just focus on um, finishing. I don't care about the. I don't care about getting silver anymore. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Next. Let's go second.
Sacre bleu. Complex corner. What car am I using? Oh, a lotus. Sacre bleu. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what the heck? Did- what? How did I not fail that? I was on the grass, like all- All my wheels are on the grass, how did I not fail that? Right, right, yeah, let's- Let's just accept that- Accept that we're just going to get bronze, so... For the rest of our license test. Ch tackling high speed corners. What car am I using? Oh, and um, okay, uh, yeah, that car. Nice. Not nice. It's bronze. I thought I was quick. I was stupid. <laughs> I thought I was quick. Turns out it's all just an illusion. Oh, I mean, it's Suzuka. What car am I using? A, uh, okay, a Subaru. A Subaru. Right. Yeah, we're we're doing okay. Oh shoot! Fuck. Rosa Cowan. <laughs> I'm not sure. What the hell did I do? Why am I so stupid? Why am I so stupid in this game? Oh no no no! I'm I'm under I'm. I'm under steering like hell. Oh, come on. Come on. I've lost it. I have lost my mojo. No longer a, a good... Uh, a good racist. A <laughs> good racist. No longer a good driver. Did we just get a silver? Wow. Nice, not bad. What's next? Lab guided run. Oh, this is going to take a while. One minute, 30 seconds, right. This, okay, I feel the power in this car. This car is quite much faster. Okay, that's bad. I understeered like hell. It's really hard, you know, playing with controller. It feels easy, but it's actually not. Like it's uh, playing with controller. It's really hard to uh, to precisely control the car, but it feels easy. Ba -ba -ra -da -da. Right. Oh my god, I'm craving for burgers and pizza right now, for some reason. I think I want to make a burger patty. Burger patty, like, sometime around this week, I guess. I've just made a uh, meatball. Sorry, I didn't say that's fine, that's fine. See you later, Razor. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed our session today.
complex corners. How <laughs> are your English? That's fine. See you next time, Raisin. Thank you for coming. Enjoy your night. Oh my god, stupid. Right. Okay, this is a bad, bad. Yeah, I'm really doing a bad job. But uh, yeah, uh, what's important is I get the license. But I might not be getting the license. Two, three. Yeah, I'm not getting the license. <laughs> that was bad. That was really bad. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. What car am I using though? I didn't check. Oh, a Mercedes. Mercedes. Yeah, I'm really slow. But well, who cares? As long as as we get the license. As long as you pass, that's fine. What's next? Okay, complex corner, Nürburgring, in a Volkswagen Golf. Ah, yes, my favorite track. Right, that's nice. I don't care about getting bronze. Let's just move on so we can race. I might want to finish all the... Maybe we should finish the license, all of the license first before doing a, uh, a race. Oh shoot, we are... Drifting. Ah, oh, I'm failing. I'm failing. Failing real bad. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Fail. Wow. I should be less cautious. Be more aggressive in my driving. Ah, oh, this is not good. I should be going there. Uh, am I failing again? I think I'm failing again. Yeah, I'm failing. Wow. This is really bad. Listen to that rotary engine. Yeah, I'm failing again. 16 Oh no, I'm not failing That's fine That is fine Let's go Let's go To the next Knock Oh Oh my god This thing Oh my god, this thing
Oh my god, this is really... What the hell? What the hell? My game? My game suddenly lagged. Yeah, I, uh, if this is a real license test, would be interesting. <laughs> if a real license, if this is a real license test, it's real. It'll be very interesting. I can't go faster. I can't. I can't control the car. I don't mind getting the- oh my god, no! Wow, 45 seconds, that's really bad. Let's continue. Applied cornering. Hmm. Let's go. What car am I in? Okay. Oh, it's a Suzu car. Wow, silver. Not bad. Okay, we have seven, probably seven more. Seven more license tests. Right. Oh my god, I I really wish I can someday buy myself a steering wheel setup. <laughs> I want to feel the the how it feels like to play to play racing games with a steering wheel. Right. Let's go. Hmm. Let's see if I get the bronze. I used to like cheese cheese the game out with um, director's mode, so you don't actually drive. You just <laughs> you just let the the computer do the racing for you. I'm that lazy. Like I just change the speed to like three times. Let's go. Riding A plus. <laughs> My riding is probably like. Oh shoot! 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 Please! Oh shoot! No! Oh no! No! Oh, I have to do it again. Ah, oh, frick!
Oh man. He can't pass the pace car. That's really bad. Really hard. Wait, let me pause it for a second. I need to sell some. I need to get something. Right. Let's continue. That cost. That would cost me. Yeah, that would cost me some time. Yeah, that would definitely cost me time. Yeah, I am probably going much slower this time than than before. Oh god. No. Oh no. Oh my god. That's not good. The will spin, really. Okay. So when cornering, uh, I I learned this somewhere. I forgot. But when cornering, you want to make sure you still apply some gas, some some throttle. Not like uh, not 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 let go of the tr throttle but yeah keep applying throttle but yeah don't touch grass or you're gonna be sent to god <laughs> the don't touch grass or or you'll hear the oh yeah oh <laughs> Don't touch the grass if you don't if you don't want to listen to a an, an extremely uh, sensual, deep-voiced man moaning on your ears. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. Hopefully. Okay, keep on its tail. Keep. Keep the slipstream. Okay, brake properly. Don't. Okay, good. Okay, we we passed that. Okay, we are going to finish nicely. Oh, we got silver. Nice. Can't believe that. Not bad. Applied dirt driving again, rally again. Lantia. Uh, 
I love these like these photographer uh, animation. Oh my god, fail! I love these animations where uh, where the photographers are like running away to avoid the car. Four in seconds. Okay, we got that. Yes, not bad. Just bronze. Yeah, bronze is enough for me. Not super competitive or something. Oh my god. Applied dirt driving again. Oh my god. This is hard. This is why I hate. I hate the rally in Gran Turismo. Oh, almost. <laughs> yeah, I hate rally in Gran Turismo, especially when you hit the wall. You get a penalty, a stupid penalty. Right. Tackling blind corners, right. Ah, this one, right. Yep. <laughs> badly, failed badly. I'm going to send you to you, Jesus. Right. Nice, I guess. I don't know how, uh, how I'm doing. Uh, definitely not gold, not silver, but we passed. So I guess that's good enough. Oh, we're still got long. We're only in the in, in the intern in the international. Wait, was it international? Na national A. I think national A. Yeah, national A. We're still in national A. We have. Still got the international A and B, like B and A license. Yeah. Norch Slifer of an, uh, an Audi, Audi TD TT. Audi TT. Audi. 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 Right. Uh huh. Okay, we're done. Don't know how we do. Okay. Suddenly remember that Sasaki once wrote a Japanese shrine. Oh yeah, Kojiro, Kojiro, because he can't leave the shrine. It's so stupid. <laughs> He can't. He can't leave the shrine. So stupid. <laughs> Trial mountain, right? Master six. Right, come on, we can do this. Uh, 
Okay, let's go. Three. Right, so far so good. Right, okay, we're almost done, I guess. So uh, there's a an Easter in Easter egg in this uh, circuit. So there's a pod where you can look when you can see a Loch Ness monster. If you stop at uh, a, a certain a specific uh, place here. Okay, bronze. I'll take it. Graduation test should be a graduation test now. No. Oh shoot, no, 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 I've... Wrong button. Yep, graduation test. Oh, yep. Nurburgring Notch Life. Oh, an Arc 7. Right, what are we supposed to do now? Right. Not bad, not bad. Ah, uh, that's bad. I braked too much. Slowed down too much. Now I'm too slow. Oh, that was hairy. If, I'm dr if, if this is a real car, I will have been the the the, the engine will have blown already. Shoot. Yes, we graduated. Ooh, graduated. Now we still have two more license tests to do. Oh my god. What car are we getting now? National A. Nice. And what car are we getting for bronzing all of them? Pontiac Sunfire GXP concept. Right. Looks quite okay. I guess. Oh my god, we still have a few more license. Ah, uh, international B. Oh god. This is going to take a while. Alright, breaking during turns. Sukuba, oh my god. Hate this train. To the core. I hate this track with all of my heart. <laughs> right, let's go. Next. Let's just speed things up. Okay. Where am I?
Alright. I don't know how it went. Yeah, it's just fine. We passed that. I don't care, we're just getting bronzes. All I need is to just pass. <laughs> Suzuka, ah, this part of the track. <laughs> oh, I really need to make another FGO song thing for my a hundred thousand view special. <laughs> Ooh, silver! Nice, oh, amazing! Can't believe that! Yeah, I need to make another FGO song thing. I need to look at the newer servants and see if there are anyone that sings. Are there any new servants that sing in their voice lines? Could be interesting to use them for the song idea. This is going to be slow. Oh yeah, I'm failing all right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do his voice. <laughs> like that. Moroi! <laughs> Dio. Oh my god. The alleys. Oh yeah. Maybe I should check them out. Like, make the whole alleys, uh, leases. See if they could work. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll check them out. See if, it, like, if I could use them as a song. Stupid song. Oh, I'm failing again. They kinda do sing, yeah, kinda. <laughs> That's why. Uh the NPs though, yeah, maybe. Like make an idol a version. Yeah, maybe I can I I'll check them out. I check the oldie Lizzie's and combine them all. If possible. I just keep on failing this one. Oh my god. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, barely. Barely. Random berserker sounds. I actually have something I have already made. It's based on uh, Napoleon. And um, I'm going to add uh, Ashia Doman as well. But we'll see. Maybe I should. I'll, maybe I'll post that one first, and then think of something else after that. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I made something actually, but I haven't like posted it yet. I haven't made a video about it. But I have made this, uh, something out of the uh, Napoleon's voice. Uh -huh. Napoleon's. Uh, I want yeah. I want to add uh, Ashia Doman's voice in it as well. 
like uh, too <laughs> too sensual. <laughs> it's going to sound kind of kind of oh <laughs> kind of sus. <laughs> Right. Look, I want to uh, use the uh, the mm, sound from uh, from <laughs> Shadowman. Oh God, what am I doing? Make it very sus, sussy, sussy alter ego, God. Nothing we can do. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to add that. Mmm. Mmm. Master. <laughs> I share Doman's lines are just very sussy. Sound they sound very sussy. I'm definitely going to add them. Oh la la, ooh la la. Mijio, Mijio. <laughs> I can't do the voice. His voice, uh, Napoleon's voice is very, very, very raspy and deep. It's really hard to do. Arc de Triumph, tu le toi. Ramsim Tentris. Did we do it? Yes. Nice. That was long. Equally as sus as his sound. Yeah. Really. Really. Especially like the last. I think the last summer. The last JP summer. Uh, with uh, with with Ashia Doman. And then his his shop line is very sus. <laughs> Master mm. <laughs> Sounds very very sus Oh my god this is hard Yep But uh, I, I did I didn't get a shadow man. Every time he came out in the banner, I never been able to get him. <laughs> so sad. Wait, what's the difference now? Oh, I, s s I pressed the wrong. Wait, slalom two. What's the difference? It's the same car, same stage. What's the difference now? Oh, I think I know. So the first one is with uh, traction control on. This is probably without a traction control. Yep. Done. Done. What's next? Coffee break? No, not yet. After this, city street guy. Oh, I actually haven't played the 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 riderless uh, event. I need to play it soon, or I'll miss out on riderless, which is bad. If I miss out on riderless, really need to. Give me the mo motivation to play, actually, please. <laughs> Give me some motivation to play, please. Like, it's been really, really busy for me, and I don't have like any motivation to play yet. Usually, I just uh, 
like speed run the event at the last minute. Oh, I failed. Speed run the event in like two days and uh, yeah, do something stupid like that. Yeah, I really need to get Rider Liz. I don't want to miss out. Trying to finish the Halloween 4 event but ran, ran out of motivation. I didn't even have the motivation before I pl uh, before I started. <laughs> But I need a rider Liz. Just don't want to miss out. <laughs> I can't miss out again. I missed out on Aries like uh, last year or two years ago. I forgot. Two, last year? Was Aries last year? Aries is last year, right? Yeah, the, the free Aries is last year, right? I missed out on Aries because I didn't play at all. I didn't play the event, the event at all. And I can't miss it. Oh, I need to retry. We can't miss again. Shouldn't miss an event with a free servant again. Yeah, imagine we have a r r real licensed test like this. You have to knock over some cones in a spiral for you to uh, pass your license, driving license test. <laughs> uh, just imagine how stupid it will be. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> oh, God. Spiral. Oh, city street guide. Sita di Aria. Uh, imagine imagine speeding up 60 miles per hour in streets like this Wow like streets this narrow imagine ah oh, I felt I failed I failed yeah imagine look at this 80 miles an hour. And, and a tight, tight, tight road like this, looking for, looking for death. <laughs> Two, three, yeah. Still waiting for Taigong. Halloween one, two, three gave, gave out free Alice. Oh, actually, I. I uh, uh, I didn't have. I don't have the original uh, free Liz. Was it the caster? Uh, caster Liz. I don't have the caster Liz because I didn't play when the first, like the first Halloween, Halloween event, first Halloween event in FGO. I haven't played FGO yet. I want Tai Kong. He looks cool. Yeah, I want Tai Kong. He's cool. Tai Kong is like, uh, is it? Is it the end? Uh, the end of this year? I forgot. I think it's the end of this year, right? Oh shoot, that's not good. I don't care if he's, uh, even if he's like uh, in gen uh, in general banner, like he's not limited. I'm still going to roll for him. <laughs> I 
Yeah, even if he's not limited, I'm still going to roll for Tai Kong. I just like the character. Looks cool. Oh shoot, I'm drifting about. Drifting about. Oh shoot. Hong Kong. Oh, about this track. Actually, I've been there. Like I've, been, I. This is not a real track, but not a real. Uh, yeah, not a real track, but it's based on the real place. I've been here. I've been around this uh, area before. It's the uh, in the how how do I pronounce it? Sim Cha Chui area, I think. Yeah, I think it's pronounced Sim Cha Chui or something, or Sim Cha Chui or I I I I forgot how to pronounce it. But yeah, I've been around this area. Drifting in the ocean all alone, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've been in this area before. It's amazing how 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 much food is here. Yeah, I think it's Shim Shim Sachui area. Like I looked at Google Maps to uh to. I looked at Google Map to like confirm the road, like how it looks like. Yeah, it's real. For oh yeah, yes, almost. Okay, we have six more licenses to go until we can do the IA license. Competition dirt racing. Oh shoot, this is real slippery. Boom! <laughs> oh my god. Can't believe this game is already 19 years old. I break too much. Ah, oh, glad I'm not failing. Right, so let's move on. Let's move on to the next one. How many days? I think it's only eight days left for the uh, for the Halloween, right? I need to play that around this week. I need to finish finish the event around this week or else I'm gonna miss it not getting all copies will be bad oh arr, rah, rah. oh this is bad ice arena yeah the dirt event is just oh my the absolute worst my what uh my least favorite races on the uh, on Gran Turismo. Oh my god! Whoa! Almost <laughs> nearly. But yeah. Uh, as long as I am passing, as long as I'm not failing. This track again. Ah, oh, shoot. Let's go, let's go. Come on. I rolled for a mole, but I didn't get anyone. My my gacha has been really, really empty, like really bad. After I like after 
after LD6. Like all my luck. All my luck is uh like during the LD6, I wasted all my luck there. Because I get a I get an MP2 Morgan, if I were mistaken. Yeah, I get um I got an MP2 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 Morgan first in the uh in the first Morgan banner and then the second one is when uh Morgan rerun after the Oberon uh after the Oberon banner. I get Melusin, I get Castoria during the first uh during the LB6 banner, not the anniversary and then i get i got um i got tam uh i i got tamamovic and also got obron like my luck is really like <laughs> crazy back then uh, back then that's why i've been in a drought of luck after that I'm almost done with the event. Oh, nice. I think I have to, yeah. I have to get to the event soon. My two might not survive. Oh, shoot. What the hell? I'm failing. Which shoe are you? Which coup are you using? Uh, the OG coup or the uh, Berserker coup or uh, the prototype? Are you using the Cockroach coup or the yeah or the Berserker coup? I don't have the Bers Berserker coup. I'm actually I actually haven't um I haven't claimed the free SSR. Like I still don't know who to get. So my SSR ticket is still unused. <laughs> Chitta di Arya. OG2. Oh, OG Ku. Oh, I see. Did you grail him? Did you grail Ku? I forgot about my Ku. I don't know if I grailed him or not. Is it I, I forgot if it's if he's still level 70 or I grailed him. I don't think I grailed him. I grailed, uh. I grailed Chen Kong. Best Dogo among Dogos. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think I didn't grail Ku. I grailed Chen Kong, yeah. I grailed Chen Kong. To level 90? If I weren't mistaken? I forgot. Was it level, say, 80 or 90? to work with my Castoria but then I got I got Koyanskaya <laughs> and my Chen Kong is now only occasionally used in some only in some situations I'm focusing 120 Darius oh my god wow my Darius it's my Darius is a uh, max ascent but um, max ascended but I don't think he is max leveled yet I forgot I only max ascended Darius to level 55 I think 
I forgot. Wait. Darius is ah. Oh, Darius is oh level sixty. Sorry, I didn't level seventy him. A lot of my like lower stars, actually just only gets max ascended. <laughs> oh shoot. Nearly. Okay, after this race, I gotta get some drink. I'm thirsty. I need some drink. Um. I grilled. Uh, I grilled uh, Mothman to a hundred and level a uh, hundred and two. I wanted to make a hundred and twenty Mothman. Uh, because yeah, for like tanking and stuff, for the ridiculous ruler survival ability. Right now of grail. Oh, too bad. I didn't grail a lot of uh, servants actually. I grailed. Um, I grailed my abbey to level a hundred, and then I grailed my Sherlock to level a hundred. Grailed my uh, Salieri to level ninety. Grailed my. Chin Su Huang to level 102. Gonna go to sleep. Alright, thank you for coming to the stream though. Good night. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you, have a good night. Oh, come on, please. Let me... Let me pass. Oh, shoot. I'm going to fail again. Oh, 20... 21. Oh, yes. Shipling, welcome. Brum brum, indeed. Welcome to the stream. How are you? I'm gonna get drink. Get some drink. I'll be back in a minute. Hi, Crimson. Welcome. How are you all today? I'm doing good. Oh, just bought two kilos of lent mince meat. Oh my god, that sounds great. I cooked some. I I made some uh pork pork meatballs just now, just earlier today, and they're great. They're chewy, very soft but chewy and nice. Yeah, I got a recipe. I got the recipe working out nicely. I and I oh shoot, <laughs> and I eat them with some noodles, some yeah traditional noodles, really delicious. I've been cooking a lot, and yeah, really loving uh, cooking. Really loving cooking right now. I fail. Sounds amazing. Working as usual. Let's try a new coffee brand. Oh. Oh. I can't drink coffee. <laughs> Running out of burritos. Oh. Burritos. Nice. Sounds delicious. 
I made a few batches of uh, of the meatballs so I can like eat it for like I, I have like three more portions I think so this is where this meme come, came from yeah <laughs> I can't drink co coffee too bad like I'm going to have the uh, like all the gastric acid coming up oh I'm going to put up something oh okay what car are we getting Nike one nice very futuristic car I'm going to add something to <laughs> this okay um, image uh, at existing this <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god yes Right, we should do it. <laughs> okay, we we have one more license to go. Cat. <laughs> we have more one more license to do. Actually, problem can't function with caffeine. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I'm going to vomit all over the place and uh, have a bad day if I drink ca uh, coffee. Like it's going to be the whole day, not just uh, uh, for a an hour. It's going for to be for the whole day. Oh shoot! No. <laughs> So yeah, it's best uh, if I don't drink coffee. Back when the Dalgona coffee uh, craze trend came out, it really, really affected me. Like people are, uh, people are making Dalgona and trying out recipes, and I am the tester. And if it doesn't work well, I'm I'm the one to finish the Dalgona coffee. <laughs> Okay, next. Let's go. More Suzuka. What's an ugly looking car? Okay, keep, keep it, keep it, keep it steady, keep it steady, yes. Am I going to fail this? Probably. Yep, definitely. <laughs> God, no. Oh, God. Steady, steady, yes. Steady with the throttle, steady with the throttle. Oh god. Drifting.
There's a lot of mixing involved. Yeah. Uh huh. And they get very thick and hard. Yeah, they get very thick. It's tiring to mix them. Four. Yes, I'm doing it. They're and they're very. I don't know. Uh, they're very sweet. It's crazy how sweet they are. It's crazy how sweet Dalgona coffee is. It's basically just caramel with coffee. It's 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 uh, diabetes inducing. It's like basically just caramel on top of coffee with milk. Uh. I don't know how people could like drink that all day, every day. Wow. It's even sweeter than boba teas. <laughs> Like, Dalgona coffee is like eating cake, like eating dessert. It's very, very heavy, very, very sweet. Not something I could have all day or every day. <laughs> it's just too heavy. It's like drinking cream. Oh, I miss drinking milkshake though. I miss milkshake. I think I should make some milkshakes. Milky shaky. I got sweet too, but blood sugar is the problem. Oh, you got blood sugar. Oh no. I'm trying to, yeah, cut sugar. Sugary drinks. I'm trying to cut sugary drinks, but uh, when I when I have like currently I'm having uh, canker sore, or uh, so I am currently doping with vitamin C every day, a vitamin C drink, which I don't know if they use. Uh, sh I try to drink the ones with uh, artificial sugar, synthetic sugar instead of uh, like real sugar. But still, it's sugar. Even though it's artificial, it's well, it's better for the blood sugar, but uh, in the long run, it's not good for the, for health. But yeah, I'm only doping when I have canker sore or like not feeling well. So yeah, still cutting up, cutting out uh, dr uh, sugary drinks. <laughs> Okay. Been wanting to uh, cook some burgers, to be honest, with pork patty. I had some ground pork ready. Just need to grill them with um, with some onions. Going to chop some onions, and maybe later this week, around this week. I want to do another cooking stream, but I'm not sure yet. It's very tiring to set up for a cooking stream, especially because my kitchen is very, very small. Very, very tight. It's very hard to set up. So I'm going to think again <laughs> of doing another cooking stream. I still don't know what to cook though, if I'm going to do another cooking stream. Maybe some... Uh, some... Maybe some Swedish... Uh, Swedish meatballs again.
I have to work out more and cut down on sweet stuff. Cooking stream is fun, yeah. It's fun. Last stream was great. Cooking turned out fine. The food turned out fine. But yeah, I haven't been having like sweet, sweet, sweet snacks or like cake and stuff lately. So yeah, I'm doing all right. But still, drinks need to cut out drinks. Hmm. Yeah, and if I if I'm drinking something, I make sure oh, this is bad. I I try to make sure it's uh at least if I'm going to if I need something sweet, at least it's a artificial sugar. <laughs> even though even though it's not still not healthy, but at least it's not uh diabetes inducing. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm really bad. I'm really slow. Oh god, this car drifts like hell. Where is the finish line anyway? Ah, I'm definitely l losing. This car is drifting like hell. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm still thinking. Um, I o the I don't know what to cook in my next cooking stream. So, yeah, my only idea is uh, yeah the Swedish meatballs. Meatballs. I don't have anything in mind currently. Tackling complex corners. But yeah, I, lo I love the Swedish meatballs I made. I think it was a success. It tasted great, it was chewy and... But yeah, maybe... So last time when I made the Swedish meatball meatballs, the, the strawberry jam is a... It's something I bought, it's a, s a supermarket brand uh, it's a supermarket brand uh, strawberry jam maybe in the cooking stream I should uh, make it my own make the jam by myself so it's uh, more authentic <laughs> but yeah um, supermarket brand jams are too sweet so yeah it's better to make it myself i guess but i used a uh, strawberry instead of uh cranberry or lingonberry because they're expensive cranberry and lingonberry is expensive oh my god i'm failing again <laughs> Like a jar of uh, lingonberry jam is like four, three times the price of a uh, strawberry jam. It's very expensive. <laughs> I want to make a, I want to make pizza as well, to be honest. But I've never tried it, and I've had. If I'm making a pizza, I have to. I would have to make the tomato sauce myself. Six, seven. Ah, failing again. Oh, this is hard. This is really hard. 
Oh. It's time to touch some grass. Oh. Touch some grass. Yeah. It's time to touch some grass. Yes. Touch some grass. Oh. Get your ass out. Oh my god. Oh shoot. <laughs> this car is really hard to control. My god. It drifts like hell. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Five, six, yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, we still have a lot to go. Before we can even race. No, we can actually race now, but I want to finish the license first. So we wouldn't have to do the license later. I think that's too slow. Yep. Let's see how we go about this. So yeah, I've been here. I've been in this place. At um uh around I forgot. I think around When was the last time I was here? I think it was around 10 years ago. I was here 10 years ago. Very nice place. Like it's a night market area. Like it, uh, when it's night, uh, a night market opens. It's very nice. You can buy things there. Lots of food. Lots of street food. Uh, really lovely. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh my god, I miss I miss traveling. Really miss traveling. I wanted to travel again, but oh my god, traveling is really expensive. Traveling is just really expensive, even locally. Last time I traveled, like literally traveled, I think it's a few years ago already. I've never traveled again. Uh, I think it was to uh, Central Java. Yeah, last time I traveled, it was to Central Java by train. It was just for a day. Yeah, and it was just for a day. Like, I arrived there. Uh, I... Hmm. I boarded the train late at like night, maybe 7. seven and it was like... I arrived at... Um, I think it was... 3 or 4 a.m. so it was like a 10 hour train I guess around yeah 10 hour journey and then I only I only stayed I traveled around only stayed for a few hours 
and then I went back, boarded the train again at night, again. Arrived, arrived back uh, in Jakarta at around four. I forgot. I think it's around. No, no, not not four. I forgot. Or is it? Was it four? I think uh, I arrived back at four again, four a.m. Oh my god! I'm failing this. So yeah, it was like. Three, three whole days, no rest, literally no rest. I so we sp uh, I spent the whole day going around doing some stuff like for uh, for a day full, and then immediately boarded the train again to go back. It was crazy hectic. Like we literally didn't. <laughs> we literally didn't uh, shower back then because time the time is too time constraint the time is too uh, short not enough time to like even shower we have to do a lot of things but it was fun it was fun learn something there Learn some traditional stuff there. Fun. But it, it was very tiring. Right. And before that, before the Central Java trip, uh, it was a year a year before I traveled to Bali. That one was uh, very nice. I miss Bali. I think it was uh, around a week trip, which is nice. A week around Bali is nice. Had a wedding there. Uh, attended uh, my attended my cousin's wedding there and then like for like uh, one or two days the wedding and then the rest like for the rest of the week we travel around Bali went for uh, traveled like four hours to just to go to a photo spot that is too crowded that we didn't we didn't manage to get a photo like an actual photo <laughs> wish uh, like I kind of wish we didn't we didn't go there <laughs> but yeah like we we spent like literally the whole day just to travel there go uh, to and to and back and ended up doing nothing just like for an hour there and go back again it's crazy it's too far I mean it's a beautiful place if you went if you go there under the, around the right time but you have to be super super early Or yeah, uh, you have to be super early, or either you're super early, or you're you 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 come around the golden hour, you'll get a good photo, a good view. But um, I don't think it's worth it. If you don't, if you don't like, uh, if you don't stay around, stay near the place, I don't think it's worth it to go there. You need like two weeks to spe if you want to like go there. It's better that you spend two weeks. You spend two weeks in Bali and dedicate a like three days maybe. No, not three days. Dedicate a, a week to travel around the place, around the area. Stay around that place so you don't just 
go to that place just for the sake of going to that place. You have uh, you can travel to the place around the location as well, so you don't waste your time and money. Like sure, if you can you can go there if you'd like to, but uh, don't make it your only destination because it won't be worth it. So like yeah, if you're going to that location, just make sure you're staying around the area for a week and you also spend time to like uh, go around, look around the other places around that area. Yeah, and I'll only visit to, to respond. Yeah, I definitely. I went to this like, uh, this like cafe in Ubud, and it's got the the holy grail of Indonesian tourism, which is the heart, the the <laughs> the rotten heart uh, seed. <laughs> The holy grail of Indonesian tourism, the rotten, rotten heart, the rotten heart seat, heart bench. Oh my god! I think I took a photo there. <laughs> I I don't remember. I think we had some gelato there. Well, the gelato was good, I think. And we had some uh, some pork as well around the Ubud area. Or uh, it's a quite a famous pork. That and less <laughs> yeah near the fish pond. <laughs> oh yeah, the 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 pork the pork restaurant. Uh, the the outdoor the outdoor seating seating uh, was next to like they had some bird cages around like you, you can play with the birds like some parrots and cockatoos and stuff uh, and stuff and then there's a pond as well so yeah it's quite close but it's next level i think <laughs> but the food was great the food was great i miss bali a lot and then we and, and then i also went to uh a kind of a bar and an exclusive bar where the drinks is like uh the drinks is like seven bucks. Uh, seven bucks, yeah. Seven bucks a drink. Pizza is like uh, twenty bucks. A pizza. Uh, it and it's for a like a small size, small portion pizza. I'm back. Oh, hey! I think I saw a shop on this shop on Instagram, but never went. Ah, I see. Welcome back, Hyung. We're talking about uh, Bali tourism right now. So yeah, um, I went to this bar. So it's like a beach bar, but um, it's located in the cliff to the beach. So it's not actually on the beach, but above the beach. And then you have to kind of go down quite some stairs to go to the beach. And it's very expensive. They've got pools there. Uh, a drink is like seven bucks. A pizza, a small pizza, is like two, twenty bucks. And but the system is so a lot of the bars in uh, a lot of the bars in Bali, I think, has a system where you pay a certain amount and you get that quota, that that much quota for food. So like, say you pay for uh, you pay for a uh, hundred bucks. So the like the package is like a hundred bucks maybe. So you pay that much, and then uh, you can order as much food and drinks as a hundred bucks. That's like a quota, but you pay for that. That a hundred bucks is like entrance and includes a hundred bucks of uh, worth of food and drinks. Still expensive, but yeah. I don't know. Uh, I I I don't remember if they, if that's uh, if it's like per person or something. If they charge per person, I forgot. But yeah, you pay you pay a certain number for entrance, and then that's your also your quota for free food and drinks. 
Um, I mean, the drinks, they're quite nice. But, yeah, they're only for people who want the experience. Haven't visited, no money. <laughs> yeah, I can't travel. I haven't been able to travel as well. Like, no money as well, yeah. It's been really hard. Economics is just hard, right? Now. Financially, it's really hard. <laughs> the last time I... Uh, also, the last time I traveled... Traveled overseas... Was like... More than five years ago, I think. I haven't traveled overseas for more than five years, I think. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh shoot, come on. But yeah, I really, I really miss traveling. I really miss like trying out food around the world, around the place I travel in. Oh, thank you for following. I, I can't read that yet. Oh, okay. Lil Uzi. Thank you for following. Where did you travel to? Um, the last time I traveled overseas. I don't even remember anymore. Overseas last time. I think it was... Macau. I think it was Macau and Hong Kong. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Working hard, less pay. Ah, oh, yeah. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Just working hard, working really hard, not getting enough pay. Yeah, and uh, my office is. My office demands me to come to the office uh, once a week next next month. They they better be paying me more. But I don't think they will. A rapper followed? What? What rapper? <laughs> Lil Uzi. But yeah, last time... The last time I remember traveling overseas, I think it's Macau and Hong Kong. I think it's Macau and Hong Kong, yeah. That's the last time I traveled overseas. And I, uh, Hong Kong, I went to Sim Sha Tui and to shop around and I had some Indian food there uh, in the apartment. Like there's, so there's this like an apartment there where like uh, inside is like some, some like there's a lot of Indian, Indian people opening kiosks there. It's around Sim Sha Tui as well. I think we stayed there, in the apartment. Lil Uzi Fert is a rapper. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any rapper, to be honest. Lil Uzi Fert. Who? Lil Uzi Fert. Uh, uh, is it the real like Lil the real Lil Uzi Fert? I, I no. I don't think so, right? I don't know. Is it the, like? Oh my god. Sorry, I don't. I, I I rarely listen to rappers, actually. But is it real Uzi Vert? <laughs> real Lil Uzi Vert? Yeah, I re. I, lately, I have been. I've been. I haven't. I haven't been listening to a lot of songs, to be honest. Fenrir, welcome. Bark. Oh my God, I'm failing. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Listen to that. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> what a bonkers! What a bonkers! Fail music! I could fail any time. <laughs> so yeah, around Sim such such way. So we stayed. Uh, so I stayed. I stayed in the in this like apart, in this like old apartment, 
uh, in Sim Sha Tsui. Oh my god, I'm failing again. So yeah, I stayed as inside. There are a lot of Indian people opening kiosks. And I had some of the best Indian food there. I miss I miss Indian food. Really miss Indian food. I, I really want to eat Indian food again. But there aren't... I don't think there are um, good Indian restaurants around me. Oh my god, I <laughs> keep on failing. But yeah, I had this... I don't know what it's called. I, I don't know what it's called, but... Uh, so I had this nice... So it was uh, like a uh, roti prata, but topped with some Indian yogurt. It was really nice. I guess not... He's not a real one. I'm listening to a lot of rap music and classical music. I see. So yeah, uh, I don't know what it's called, but uh, so this this so it's a uh, roti prata, but topped with uh, not curry, but topped with the uh, topped with uh, yogurt. It's really nice. I really love it. Uh, I wish I can eat that again. And then I went to Ocean Park. I think it's Ocean Park or Ocean World, I forgot. I forgot it's like the Sea World over there. I really love going to like zoos, uh, Ocean Park and stuff. It's one of my favorite places to go when I go travel. Like when I went to uh, Bangkok, I also went to the like uh, the marine park there, marine park and zoo. Uh, it was interesting. It's one of my favorite places to go, like uh, to see animals. And then back in KL, I went to the Butterfly Park, and then there's this uh, amazing place, amazing place where you can like learn science and play science games and everything. And uh, it's it's up in the I think it's in the Petronas Tower, Petronas Twin Tower, on the top of the Petronas Twin Tower. Uh, there's I think not the top, but yeah. It's in the Petronas Tower, I think. Uh, it's a Petronas Science Center thing. It's fun. Sounds delicious. I will look for it. Yogurt and Prata. Yeah, I think it's yogurt and Prata. So yeah, in Petronas Tower, there there's this, this like uh, Petronas Science Center, and it's it's like a fun place to be. Like you can learn lots of science thing. And then they have the, this machine that, uh, so this machine that blows, like, blows air, but uh, the air is, like, simulating the smell of the dinosaur era. Like, this is, like, this is how uh, the dinosaur era smelled like the air in it. It's interesting. I really love things like that. And then, I also went to Sri Lanka long long time ago I went to Sri Lanka and it was quite interesting we went to this uh, some kind of I forgot what it was like a it's a floating rest uh, not restaurant I think I forgot floating place thing I think it's a restaurant maybe or a cafe or a market I forgot but they had uh, this, or wait, no, it's not a floating market. It's kind of a, uh, also some kind of, not zoo, but some kind of uh, animal center. And there's this uh, floating thingy. They they have like a horseshoe crab there. And it's, it's interesting, it's the first time I've seen a horseshoe crab f from up close. And then they have this uh, shooting, I don't know what the name. I forgot what what the name of the fish is. It's the shooting, f the spitting fish. 
the fish that spits out water and uh, we were like uh we were like um sticking some bread bread pieces on the railing and then the fish would spit and shoot the uh, bread off the rails and to eat them that's amazing i really love travels like that okay and yeah i like looking at uh, seeing animals looking at animals and looking at uh interesting stuff is uh one of my favorite things to do when traveling and i never get bored looking at fishes looking at animals like even though we've even though i've seen the same fish over and over again like so you, like you go to sea world and then you go to another sea world you'll find basically almost the same fishes right the same fishes the same crabs but it's still interesting to look at you know and usually they have different like different uh different enclosures different uh aquarium layouts and different size of fishes like it's interesting even though you've looked at them like for a few times it's always fascinating you travel a lot yeah back uh it's like more more than five ten years ago i used to travel a lot quite lucky to be able to travel overseas a lot but i've never traveled further than uh i've never traveled further than china and taiwan China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand. Yeah, if I, I could actually list uh, the number of... Uh, I could actually list the countries I've visited. Uh, Singapore, Malaysia, and uh, Thailand, China, Taiwan, Hong Kong. Macau, that's it. That's the only places I have traveled in, so never further. It's uh, it's uh, so I traveled there a those to those places a lot because so our like our community, our community, the uh, our community used to have like uh, a lot of events around those places so those are the places we travel a lot to oh no i don't dare <laughs> i've never even gone to south korea but yeah I heard South Korea has one of the fastest uh, public Wi-Fi and internet speeds around the world. <laughs> but I wish to be able to uh, travel to Euro European countries, countries actually, but I've never had a chance. Uh, also, when I went to Bangkok, uh, there's this noodle I ate. Some kind of noodle I tasted there. It's very nice. So we ate. So the, the noodle shack is like uh, beside the road on top of a river. And when we were eating, so the seat is like you're facing the ri river. And your legs are basically dangling, hanging above the river. But they had nice noodles. I don't know what they are called. But yeah, Hong Kong street food is also great. What I don't like about going to uh, Taiwan and China is uh, it's very hard to, f to get drinks there last time. 
The last time I went there, it's very hard to get drinks. People rarely drink over there. The restaurant, they don't serve drinks back then. They rarely serve drinks. But yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but the last time I went there, they rarely serve drinks and street vendors rarely serve drinks. They rarely sell drinks. Street food, a lot of street food, but there are not a lot of drinks. It's just very thirsty around there. And it was very... When I went to Taiwan the first time, it was 12 uh, degrees Celsius. Quite cold. It's, I think it's more than 10, 15 years ago I went when I went to Taiwan. It was a long time ago. Barely remember anything. Yeah, I barely remember anything now. Oh, there's this place in Macau that I wanted to visit, but uh, nobody else wanted to, so I didn't. Ma so I didn't have the ch a chance to to visit. Uh, it's the Macau GP Museum, but Macau is a very expensive place to to visit. Macau is a very expensive place to visit because pe basically, so a lot of people who came there basically just f went there to gamble. Macau is very big on gambling. Yeah, Macau is very big on gambling. A lot of the hotels are uh, also part casino. And yeah, the hotel I stayed in also had casinos. It was very expensive. I forgot, but uh, it was back then. It was the time when uh, when we were very much, still very much blessed, financially blessed. But now, yeah, <laughs> it was back when we were very financially ca uh, blessed, and yeah, too bad that uh, I'm not as financially blessed now. <laughs> Yeah, it's basically the Asia's Las Vegas. Basically, almost every mall, every hotel have a casino, and each hotel. So, so because a lot of these casinos, they have ties around. Like, they are, uh, they have ties around the owners of the casinos and hotels, and because casino is like the the main attraction of Macau a lot of these hotels they have like they 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 have free shuttles that will take you to any hotel they roam around hotels so yeah they take you to different hotels around for free But yeah, basically these, uh, because they are usually packed and uh, they're expensive, the hotels are expensive and uh, like, yeah, a lot of the money are made in the casino, they're free and I don't think they will make a dent in like the hotel's um, like income. <laughs> But yeah, Macau is an interesting place to visit. There are also some, uh, like, historical places to visit as well. Like the, I forgot what what the uh, I forgot the name. I think it's Saint Peter's. Like it's a it's a, it's it's a fort. Was it Saint Peter's? It's so it's a fort. Yes, it's a fort. And there, like, there are certain hours. It only opens, like, it only opens in certain hours. Not all, like, not every hour. Wait, let me fix. It. Let me adjust something. So the the fort doesn't always. It's not always open. Like there are hours where it, where it opens. You basically have to wait. 
for it to open when you come there or you know or you have to find out the schedule and uh, visit when it's open but uh, but you can like look at the fort and uh, look at the cannons like old style cannons very cool I haven't been I have never visited Brunei but I have someone there I, I know someone there I know someone who used to work there but I think uh, he's back in coaching right now but he used to work in Brunei but yeah I never went to Brunei But I've went to Kuching, I went to uh, Cebu, around the Sarawak area. I've went to KL. Yeah, the only four places I went I've I visited to in Malaysia is uh Cebu, Kuching, KL and Sri Lanka. I've never to I never went to Brunei even though it's like uh, in it's like inside Malaysia but yeah I never went there there are a lot of places I wish I can visit I went I, I visited Bangkok I forgot I visited Bangkok twice yeah I visited Bangkok twice I went to Pattaya once And a <laughs> funny thing is, so the second time I visited uh, Bangkok, we hired a driver, we hired a van so we can travel around. So we hired a van, hired a driver to bring us around. And the driver keeps on... Uh, the driver keeps on... The driver keeps on uh, 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 recommending us to go to <laughs> to sex show. <laughs> so yeah, the driver keeps on uh, recommending us to to, uh, to watch sex shows, which is very big around Pattaya. <laughs> So yeah, they literally have pla uh, they literally have uh, <laughs> places that shows that 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 have sex as sh as a show as a literally show. It's crazy. <laughs> like each time, each time, like the driver would like while driving would look at like look at us and then point at point at a, a building. And then say sex show, sex show. Wanna wanna watch? But the driver don't actually speak English well, so we kind of he kind of speaks broken English. Not really, not even broken. Like he barely knows English, but it's enough for us to communicate. Uh, like tell tell him where to go. Oh, wait. Like yeah, he barely knows English, and yeah, he's old. He's quite old for a driver. I think like around probably fifty or above. But yeah, each time, each time, uh, <laughs> like there's a billboard or a building. He points at them, look at that, looking, looking, then. Looking at us, and then sex show, sex show. Wanna wanna watch sex show? <laughs> oh god, crazy! No, no, literally, they literally. I think uh, I. It's not. It's not a uh, strip club. I think it's literally uh, like. Oh my god! I failed. I failed. So yeah, uh, because there's a difference between strip club and little sex show <laughs> so I think it's an actual <laughs> an actual show about sex <laughs> maybe the next time 
maybe the next time I visit Bangkok, if I go there on my own, <laughs> I ha maybe I should like, I should like uh, see if it's real sex show or it's just strip club. <laughs> Put it in my bucket list. Bucket list to do in my in, in my next trip, next solo trip uh, in to Bangkok, to Pattaya. <laughs> oh, also uh, the reason I think uh, he refers to actual sex shows is because it, so we went to Pattaya, and then each time each time uh, he. He sees a like a woman, a, a woman or a girl uh, walking beside the street or the beaches that he knows offers uh, prostitution. He would he would like point at a uh, point at the girl and then fifty baht, fifty baht girl, fifty baht. Uh, oh my god, fifty baht. So back then, fifty baht is around uh, one hundred fifty. Uh, it's around fifteen bucks, I think. He would point at the girl and then say, "50 baht, fifty baht, sex." So yeah, I think he's referring. So when he says sex show, I think he refers to actual sex shows. Actually, sh sex. Oh my god, I'm failing again. <laughs> So <laughs> he keeps on <laughs> telling us to either do a sex show, <laughs> watch a sex show, or to try out the prost to the, the, the try out the Pattaya prostitutes. <laughs> That's crazy. This old man is crazy. I can't believe that. But uh, there was a show, a theatrical musical show that I went to and it was, it was amazing it was really amazing it's like uh, so it was called Siam, Nir Siam Niramit it was about like uh, the history of uh, the history of Thailand so they have like a th theatrical uh, th dances and show like it's a show about the history of Thailand well, like when we it was founded and stuff like the indigenous people how they live <clears throat> the culture they do it with dances and music traditional dances traditional music but also like some modern stuff modern shows it's, it, it's amazing I really love those kind of uh, tourist attraction <clears throat> But I think it was quite expensive to watch. Uh, but yeah, I forgot. Was it how? I think it's a um, thousand and five hundred bucks to watch per people. Wait, a thousand or a seven hundred fifty? I forgot. I forgot, but it, yeah, it was expensive, but it was interesting. Finally, I think that's why we need to touch some grass so we could see a real world like the sex show. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, need to touch some grass. But oh. <laughs> it was crazy. The driver is crazy. Oh, there's this, there's this street food. Like, it's, it's a dessert. It's a. Uh, it's so in front of our uh, hotel. I don't think it's a hotel. Oh, it's a hotel. Okay. So, uh, in front of our hotel. So our hotel was like uh, behind. Like it's a. It's inside a small road. So we we walk like uh, around fifty meters. Small of small road to our hotels but so in this small road there every morning it's like a street food there it's very very nice and then at night there was this one dessert 
a stand not stand but it's like a bike uh, uh, a traveling merchant that a traveling stand that so sells a dessert but I don't know what it's called but it's interesting so it's kind of a rice uh, not really rice bowl it's a uh, what is what's it called it's a ball kiwi balls are made of rice flour uh, inside a soup it's sweet uh, sweet soup I think it's uh, I don't know what it is may it might be made from like green bean or something but it's not like not very thick it's like a uh, really really thin soup with this rice flour balls but they top it with uh, they top it with uh, egg so over this sweet sweet soup they top it with a uh, sunny side up egg it's really interesting and uh, it's a weird combination but it's surprisingly it's it's good it surprisingly is good I I kind of like it <laughs> I, and then I don't know what uh, what the name of what its name is so I had a I had a uh, a half Thai friend uh, a friend one of my talents actually my one of my voice actors voice actress uh, she's half Thai her mommy Thai uh, I asked her I, I, I tried to ask her to ask her mom what the name of the food was but uh, unfortunately she hasn't gotten back to me about the name of the food <laughs> oh I miss that food I really want to go on a uh, culinary travel again one of the best things to do when you travel is to have a culinary tra uh, travel to do um, yeah, to test out food over there. One of the greatest things is to um, to try out new, to explore, find out new tastes, new flavors around the world. It's it's, it's one of the best things to do. You can make it, sir. Oh, thank you. I hope so. Yeah, make it. I can make it, so I can <laughs> check out. So I can prove whether or not it's a real sex show. <laughs> so I can, yeah. <laughs> so I can prove whether whether or not he's talking about a real sex show. <laughs> oh my god coming in just to, to check where it's real or not uh, but uh, uh, I watched the cabarets uh, the the you know the trans the yeah the trans uh, what's it called uh, ladyboy cabaret I watched them tw twice I think twice or thrice on the on in my two in my two times two times I uh, visited in my two times I visit Bangkok I watched them thrice I think it's because of the tour first time it's because of the tour so first time I went there we went with a tour second time it's just wait second time did I go watch a cabaret ladyboy cabaret I don't remember Yeah, I don't think I remember watching the uh, Ladyboy Cabaret the second time I went there. Oh my god, I'm losing. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't remember. Um, the second time, oh, I I also went to this uh, Four Face Buddha temple, a famous Four Face Buddha temple over there. It's around a, like. 
So this four-faced Buddha temple, there's a very, very interesting history in it. I think, um, I forgot what it is about. So this, the reason this, <clears throat> so the reason this four, four, four-faced Buddha temple is, uh, popular is famous is because there was something th there was a there, oh okay I think it's uh so th there's a hotel so the owner is a hotel owner I think if I weren't mistaken so many interesting to do uh, so many interesting thing but some of us choose to stay inside due to no money <laughs> yeah so if I remember correctly I think it's because this hotel owner uh, it was he was having uh, his business is failing I think or oh my god how was the story so basically someone some uh, like some Buddhist shaman told him to build a build this temple uh, because it'll protect him and his business and then I think there's like a, a crime that basically this uh, this four-faced Buddha helped stop I don't I don't remember oh my god it's very long time ago the stories like it was told a very long time ago I don't remember but I think there's something like uh, a supernatural thing supernatural protection happened that made this uh, Buddha temple well known yeah I think it's something super yeah because of the supernatural thing and people start started going there and uh, yeah started uh, a lot of people started to uh, like do prayers there because the because they heard this they heard the story oh my god I'm losing no but yeah there's a there are a lot of story I've forgotten my memory is just hazy because it's a long time ago but yeah one of my favorite things to do is to learn and one of my favorite things from traveling is I could learn history as well by visiting this like historic historical places one uh, yeah my bucket list every time I uh, go to um, places is to go to historical places or museums okay so Malaysia uh, there's this famous place called Batu Cave Batu Cave and also Batu Cave is there's a very nice Indian restaurant but the interesting thing about this Batu Cave is I think there's a so it's like seven I forgot how many steps. I think it's 700 steps of stairs to go up. So yeah, 700 steps to go up the cave. But uh, there's a second. So the cave is a really big cave, really big opening cave. But there's a second uh, cave, like a smaller cave, but deeper where you can like uh, go and see bats and stuff like travel inside and look at oh my god I'm failing so yeah uh, I really would love to go into caves with bats and animals like that look at caves it's interesting but ah uh, it's like a re really really there's like so many bats inside I'm afraid that it will poop on me <laughs> but maybe maybe next time I could 
face it but but two cave again and face it the second cave. Oh my god. My bro visited a Euro, European museum in Taiwan which they show the classical things. Ooh, interesting. Maybe next time I go to Taiwan. But yeah, I really wanna visit more more like na nature nature natural places next time I uh, go travel, I guess. Actually, there's so uh so back uh, back then like uh, more than fifteen years ago. There's this like a very far place. I think it's so. A tra I I we drove from Leg uh from Legok, but then I think we 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 are basically in Bogor area already. It's very far. Like uh, I think two hour, two hour three hour drive to the place. And it's like no no it's not through like tall road but it's uh like regular road. And we went really far. It's like already I think it's the like near vil villages already. And uh there's this place that we stopped by. It's a uh, very like in the middle of nowhere but they have a like a underground cave, underground cave thing. Then we can visit, but we need to climb down the stairs, and it's a small cave. It's 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 interesting, but I can't go. I can't go there. I don't even know where where we were. Like there's almost no uh, there's almost no reception there, no signal in there around there. It's really bad. Then go to Madagascar. Oh, Madagascar is interesting. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Madagascar. Actually, there's there's a lot of Indonesians in Madagascar. One of the most, uh, yeah. Actually, Madagascar is home to a lot of Indonesian. In fact, uh, like, there are places where the majority of people are just Indonesians who. Back then, back the in the uh, like 1900s, uh, moved to Madagascar because of political reasons, I think. So yeah, I think uh, it was because of political re reasons. They a lot of people just moved to Madagascar from Indonesia in the 1900s. Interesting. Can see bomb up. Trees, ah, baobab trees. Uh, yeah, I wish I can see a real baobab tree. It's an, it's an amazing tree. Oh, another tree I would like to see. The redwood and sequoia. The tallest trees in the world. No, the redwood is the tallest tree in the world. The sequoia is almost, it's near the tallest, but not as tall as a redwood. But it's the heaviest tree in the world. And I would like to see how tall how tall it is, how wide it is. So Sequoia is amazing. Redwood is also amazing. To be able to look at these trees close close by, it will be cool. It will be yeah, amazing. But yeah, they're in they're in the US I think. Oh I can't pass. You shall not pass. I want to visit Australia as well, I think. I wish to visit Australia. There are a lot of places I would like to visit. Oh no, I'm... I'm falling behind. Even in Indonesia, there's a there's a lot of places I would I wish I could visit. Like even Bali, I haven't finished uh, traveling around. 
Yeah, even Bali, there's a lot of... There are still a lot of places I wish I can, like, travel. I want to go to, uh... What's the name? Oh my god, I forgot what the name... What the name is. Oh my god, what's this island in Bali? Like... You need to go through... Uh, you need to go to by boat. Yeah, travel in Indonesia first. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so bad. Also miss Danau Toba. Maybe someday. Someday I would go to, I, I would visit my mom's hometown again. But I heard uh, Medan is really... Like, the crime there is really bad. Like, it's advised that you go out without bringing anything. Just uh, put your put your phone and your uh, wallet in your pocket. Oh my god. Yeah, Medan, Medan is really notorious. It's really bad currently, the crime, the crime. It's been a few years now, the crime is really bad. Come to my place so you can see SpongeBob house. <laughs> What's your place though? Like SpongeBob house? Where is that? My cousin got robbed and the yeah, broad daylight and Yeah, murder is really m murder is also, murder is also quite common in Medan, right? Like murder because uh, the when because people break in and find out. Uh, it's really bad. Like, I, I heard, like, lots of times, uh, people get murdered because the robber, the robber got caught by the homeowner. Like, and it's, even, like, the victim is an old lady, like, what can, what could an old lady do? You, that you have to murder the the old lady. If you want to rob, just rob. Don't. Maybe they're afraid that uh, the old lady would call the police or something. But yeah, Medan criminal. The crime is really bad. Oh my God, I still don't know how to pass this stage. Uh, I don't know how to pass this stage, oh my god. But yeah, food in Medan is really good though. Food in Medan was really good, so... Yeah. Just too bad that uh, the crime is really bad. Really have to be cautious going around. But yeah, yeah uh, like people around Medan, like your friends in Medan will al always advise you to if you're going out, never bring out, uh, never bring your bag and stuff. Oh my god, how do I... How do I pass this? Old lady could curse you based on old stories. <laughs> oh my god. But I... Uh, no, they 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 they're just afraid that uh, the that the old lady will like call the police. Really bad in Medan, too, unfortunately. 
Oh my god, how do I pass this? Oh, I can't pass this. <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> um, where else do I want? Oh, I I went to Pontianak, but uh, I never traveled around. So usually, I each time I go to Pontianak, usually it's just for transit to uh, to Sarawak. Oh, I can't. So yeah. Uh, Usually when I go to Pontianak, it's usually just for transit to Malaysia. But back then, Pontianak is really hard. Oh my god. Oh my god, really bad. And yeah. I want to visit... Oh god, there's a... Oh yeah, so I visited... So... Two... Three years ago, I think. So when I visited Central Java, there's this. Uh... Oh shoot! Almost. <laughs> so when I visited Central Java, the, this place called uh, this city called Bojonegoro. Uh, in front of this train station, there's a, sh uh, a kiosk. Uh, uh, Lamongan Soto ki uh, Soto Lamongan kiosk. They had this tea that I don't know what it's called until now. So it's this is a tea that I find really interesting. Oh my god. Uh, it's it's kinda sweet. Kinda like well it it's it's kinda like barley tea, but it's sweet. It has a interesting smell, interesting aroma, and the sweetness is also interesting. It's different it's not like your usual sugar sweet not your usual sugar sweet tea it's a very different kind of sweet and i still don't know what the name of it is i they i think they called it ah oh i'm like what's the name i don't think it's teh bandulan because it's different i i i had tried teh bandulan but it's not the same sweetness. It's it's just not the same. <laughs> I, I I really wish I oh god not again. I really wish I could find out what tea that was. Maybe I should visit Bojonagoro again. <laughs> In Bojonagoro, there I I know a music uh, I know two musical groups. Uh, so uh, two traditional musical groups there. So I got kind of acquainted with them. Maybe next time I visited Boju Nagoro, I could con contact them and have them perform <laughs> again, like the olden days. <laughs> the olden days. But uh, yeah, also tried a very nice tahu patis there. Oh my god! I can't. Oh my god, how do I do this? Oh, I can't. How did I, how did I do that? <laughs> but yeah, I, re I want to visit Solo Tea. I've never tried Solo Tea. Oh my god, how do I do this? <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Try not to lose too much speed. Ah, oh, missed again. Yeah, I never tried solo tea. Not a lot. I not a lot of tea I've tried. Oh my god, my cat is asking for food. <laughs> Wait, I'll be back.
Okay, again, this tea is very unique. It has a very unique taste. Oh my god, I really wish I can have that tea again. Come on, let's go! Don't let him pass! <laughs> yes! <laughs> what? I win by cheating! Nice! <laughs> I won it by cheating. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's really hard, you know. I, I'm not very good at this. I have to cheat. There's going to be a lot of cheating involved in this game. <laughs> oh, it's 11 p.m. already. There's going to be another cheating involved here, probably. Oh, not really. No, not really. It's, this one's far easier. This one's far easier. Oh my god, what's this? Okay, what else? What, what else? Food. I love, I love talking about food. So my biggest oh I I went to Manado, uh, like also ten around ten fifteen years ago I think I went to Manado tactic yeah tactic <laughs> not cheating it's just strategy <laughs> I went to Manado uh, and then went to Tomohon for a few days my biggest my biggest shock my biggest shock when I went to Panado is that when we eat bubur manado it's not rice porridge it's noodle with spinach it's yeah sticky sticky noodle with spinach it's one of my worst culture shock also eaten some bat there yeah. I tried a bat I tried bat I eaten bats there yeah. Yeah, I tried some bat. I don't remember what it tastes. I think it tastes like chicken. Okay, this I can also cheat, actually. <laughs> oh my god, I did that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Tactic. Tactic. <laughs> I mean, they didn't punish me for doing that, so yeah, why not? Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to play clean. This this is the drive mission anyway. I don't care. Again, let's do this. <laughs> oh my god, so stupid. But yeah, that that was my biggest culture shock when I went to Manado, the the Manado Man, Man, Manado porridge. It's not porridge. It's not ripe. It's, yeah, it's not porridge. It's noodle. I I don't think I liked it back then. I don't know if I try them again. Maybe I could. I would like them. But yeah, uh, the first time I tried it, I I don't think I liked it. Maybe next time I visit Manado and try them, maybe I could like them. Which yeah, I like. Uh, I, I, I ate bats. I ate grilled bat there. <laughs> I think they taste like chicken. Oh, I think I was served dog as well. Dog meat. I was served dog meat back then. They ordered dog meat for me. I just I just ate them. So yeah, dog meat. I don't remember how they taste, but uh, I don't know how. Uh, I don't know I, how I how I felt. Oh my god, this race is so hard. This race is hard. 
I've never been able to finish this race. It's really hard. And I don't know the tactic to this. Ah, oh, that's bad. <laughs> You're a bad man. <laughs> so yeah, I've tried. Oh! Also, talking about unusual meat. Back around, uh, I think, 20 years ago, there was this uh, restaurant uh, called Hari Hari. They sold uh, black pepper deer meat. I loved it back then. I loved it. But unfortunately, they closed down. Yeah, they sold black pepper black pepper deer it's like a better hello completely cordial tactic is you drive fast and catch catch p1 yeah there's no tactic just drive fast oh my god no <laughs> hey welcome welcome to the stream completely cordial so yeah there was this restaurant that served deer bl black pepper deer meat and so uh Basically, it tasted like tasted like uh, a better better than beef, better uh, beef, but better. Oh no, God, no! Yeah, black pepper. The deer tastes like uh, beef, but better. <laughs> That's what I remember about deer meat. Like, we used to go there and eat uh, frequently. Like uh, we would go there every week maybe once every week and always order uh, black pepper deer and yeah unfortunately they closed down and yeah, I have never been able to taste deer meat again it's too bad And they have, uh, they have one of the best, like, the one of the best. Uh, my, uh, like, they have great uh, pickle. They have great pickled uh, cucumber. I love their pickled cucumber. I always finish their pickled cucumber and then order more. Wait, I think. My cat is going to poo. I'll be right back. Turns out, nope. He's just calling, just to call. Ah, oh, this is bad. Retire! My god, this is hard! Like you're using you're using classic cars around city like this where the turns are 90 degrees it's really hard so yeah there I, I've tasted some exotic meats oh shoot nah I would love to try more exotic food but uh, I'm not sure I'd like to try uh, like insects like grasshoppers or crickets like grilled crickets oh my god I, I don't think I would although I love like uh, I would love the, how they taste but I don't think I I have the courage to try them like some say they taste like chicken like good chicken but I don't dare try them <laughs> I don't dare try 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 insects insect meat especially roaches I don't get how people could eat roaches like um 
cricket and then one of those like uh what's the name coconut something the 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 it's not a worm uh, it's like a caterpillar but uh they say it tasted like I don't know they're kind of they say they're kind of milky and creamy in taste the worm kind of things actually this 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 worm kind of thing is uh has, it's it's currently viral in on twitter because uh a student brought them to school as a lunch yeah i don't dare to taste them they say it tasted milky and creamy and chewy, but oh uh, my god, I don't dare. I can't do this. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> How? Oh my god, how many times has I have I repeated this? I should start the actual race, I think. Yeah, I should start actual racing instead of these driving missions. Maybe after this, I'll start racing and be a racist. <laughs> be a racist, not a racer. <laughs> be a racist a professional racist <laughs> this 90 degree turns are really hard to do with this classic muscle cars mm. oh also another so when I was a kid another cult culture shock I, when I went to uh, Surabaya, so in Jakarta, when you when you look for uh, nasi campur, when you look for mixed rice, when you look for nasi campur, uh, you'll get a Hainanese uh, rice with a barbecue pork or chicken, honey barbecue pork. Yeah, but when I went to when i visited uh, surabaya for the first time and i ordered nasi champur what came out was a uh, vegetable rice with a uh, goat <laughs> something i didn't expect oh my god i can't do this <laughs> oh my god let's just do the races and come back to these driving missions next time. Okay, let's look at the races. Beginner event. Sunday Cup. FFFR for the for the okay. Spider Roadster, Sport Truck. Right, so let's get a used car. We have to we have twenty thousand credits to use. Oh, but actually, we have a Nismo R for free. Could use this instead of, you know, buying. But we could... Actually, there's... Wait, my cat is calling. I'll be back.
Right, I am back. So yeah, my cat just pooped. <laughs> okay, there's this car, I think, and tuner that is like this, like overly powered HP. Yeah, this one. Yeah, 500 horsepower. Let's see the. Okay, I need ten thousand. Oh, I need 11,000 more credits. I don't have that much money. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm, V6, four... Four-wheel drive. Oh my god. Fine, I'll just use the car I have currently. I currently have, or... Used car, late 90s. Early 90s. 90. Hmm. Let's shop for cars then. Mm hmm. Lancer Evo 4. This is a good car. Impreza MGF. Mm, this is good. Mm -hmm. NSX, oh, it's all very expensive. Mercedes. Let's see about the early eight and early nineties. RX seven GTX. Ah, this one. Supra. This must be the old one. Yep. Acura NSX. Yep. Honda Beat. Skyline GTST. Skyline GTR N1. Oh, this one. GTR. The difference is um, probably there. Oh, I'll just buy some, buy the car later. We'll just use the the car we have. This one. Right. Let's do this. Let's start with our first beginner event. Oh, I better drink. I haven't drank uh, water. So how's your night? What are you currently doing, everyone? It's um, the middle of a, uh, October already. So fast. I can't. I can't wait for. Uh, I can't wait for 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 the end of the year. I'm currently working on my. So I'm trying to build an agency for voice works and music production. And yeah, I have a few talents working for me already. Not officially, but yeah. There I have already brought them some projects, which is great. <laughs> Punterino. We are much faster. But yeah, I'm trying to build an agency, not a VTuber agency, but uh, more uh, like voice works, like voice over, voice actors, singers, and music production. And yeah, it's actually, if I don't want to build a VTuber agency because um, it's too narrow, too niche, and VTubing alone actually isn't very sustainable. So I have to broaden it. 
uh, and yeah, if they want to VTube, they want to VTube, they want to stream, sure. But my main focus, my agency's main focus would be bringing them uh, voice works, singing, recording, voice acting. So outside of VTubing, they have something to work on as well. possibly could help them with um with what's the name uh, possibly help them with getting more recognized in outside in the outside world not just in the vtubing world it's a tough process even my website's not done it's it's Overall, it's done, but not not completely done. So it's functional now; it functions, but it's not completely done. Uh, it took me three or four months to build that website. I think three three months. Yeah, I think it's three three months. I made that website in three months. <clears throat> Building a website is hard. I didn't even do the code, like uh, I, I used Wix site so I don't have to code. Uh, it's been a long time since my, I last coded HTML, I don't want to, yeah, and I don't want to go back to coding HTML. So I just used Wix site and yeah, even that takes me three months to finish. But yeah, at least now it's done. If you'd look, if you'd like to like check out my the talents I have, like their past projects, their samples, you could go to uh, my website, which I I think I shared on Twitter. It's I made it completely free. So I didn't pay anything, so it's a free platform, free website platform. But maybe once I get, once it's time to get serious about it, like once I'm sure that I'm sure about the business, once it's once it's uh like I start getting more projects for them, I think I should start to pay, upgrade the domain, and pay. But yeah, currently it's still free. I made it for free, and I need. I might need to hire. Uh, not hire. I, I. I commission. I might need to commission a UI designer maybe for the website once. Once I think my agency uh, is starting to make money. Currently not yet. I still like. Well, still far, far from ideal. still far from ideal like I can't I I'm currently bring I do bring my talents projects I currently do have some projects running for them but it's not enough so yeah not enough yet for everything to be official and I'm doing this without an investor <laughs> so I'll I have to try to make it f as free as possible <laughs> But yeah, so far so good. I think I do have the... I think... Yeah, first place. Hey, replace one. Welcome. How do you do? How are you? So yeah, I do uh, I do think I... I think I'm ca capable of managing my talents. But yeah, so far it's still just uh, a small team and not lots of projects. But maybe could I when uh, when it's but maybe I could I'm capable of doing more managing more 
just yeah just hope my I just hope my agency would be going well good that's good to hear so yeah I'm just I just uh, hope that my agency will like go well I think I have to start to advertise it so I get more projects I need to do networking I really do really need to have more friends in uh, like uh, an advertisement advertisement agency or maybe the movie industry it's going to really help or the animation industry like yeah I really do need to find uh, find more like connections Oh my god, I think I ate too early and I'm feeling hungry right now. So I ate at 6. I I cooked some meatballs and some noodles and ate them at 6 around 6 p.m. I think that's too early. Now I'm feeling hungry again. <laughs> Yeah, should I snack? I think I'm going to snack a bit after this. <laughs> snack a little bit. I have some old snacks. I really want some chocolate. Dark chocolate would be nice. Uh, tomorrow I think I'm going to cook some more noodles and meatballs. And I'm going... I, I'm thinking of cooking uh, uh, Japanese curry but um, I will have to buy some ingredients and I'm going to I I'm going to have to buy some curry blocks I wish I don't need to uh, I wish I don't need to use the curry blocks to cook the curry I guess they're quite expensive to be honest but we'll see I want to make a curry katsu yeah I would like to make some curry chicken katsu Japanese curry chicken katsu they're nice I love them Sorry, I'm snacking. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm snacking currently. Right now. Hungry. Really hungry. I'm eating some... Some oat snack. <laughs> Yeah, I'm suddenly really hungry and I don't want to cook because that's for tomorrow I want to I want to uh, uh, how do I say this I want to make sure my food my food lasts as long as possible <laughs> yeah, I want to make sure my food stock lasts as long as possible. So I'm not going to cook what I've cooked today. I'm going to save that for tomorrow. So I'm just going to snack. I have a few snacks here. I have crackers. I have... Um, Oat, oat, oat crackers thing. Yeah. I have some, some, I think that's peanut. Peanut, mm, peanut cookie thing, I think. Yeah. It's crazy, you know, I've just, 
Mm. I have a canker sore right now. Uh, it's almost healing, but it's crazy that these two weeks, my canker sore actually, like, I had a canker sore uh, two weeks ago and then had, uh, it got cured. And then not long after, like just one or two days after, I got another canker sore. really bad it's it's so it's so uncomfortable these two weeks I have to eat with canker sores it's so uncomfortable especially the the current one the current uh, canker sore uh, location is on my lower lip right in front of the my lower teeth lower teeth my lower tooth it's oh my god when talking it's it hurts when eating it hurts when i try to drink it hurts <laughs> it's just it just hurts all the time <laughs> At least, at least now it's uh, mostly cured. Fortunately, like the reason I haven't been streaming, it's not uh, the the other reason I've not been streaming the last week. One of them is I'm kind of busy currently, but the canker sore, the canker sore is the reason I'm not streaming. <laughs> Okay, uh, mm -mm. Uh, a cookie. Okay. Hmm, sorry. I doped with uh, vitamin C and then the Lohan Ko drink every day. So I drink uh, vitamin C drinks and uh, Lohan Ko every day. And I had, uh, I rinsed my canker sore with uh, salt, salt water. So it's unpleasant. <laughs> it's really unpleasant. Salty water on canker sores. Yeah, it took me one week for the sword to relieve. That's crazy. Wow, I'm really bad. <laughs> so yeah, finally, it's almost healed now. Although sometimes it still hurts, but um, mostly not in the, right now. Thankfully. <laughs> Yeah, I think the uh, the vitamin C and the Lohan Ko drink helps. The salt solution might might be helping as well. Strike watermelon frost powder. Oh, I didn't. I shouldn't have. I should have, but I forgot about that. Uh, what's the name? Troches, right? Yeah, Troches. Oh, Mew, welcome. Oh, GT4, yeah, GT4. It's been years since I played this. Now I want to play this again. So yeah, how are you today? Oh my god, I'm really, actually really bad at, at this game, you know? So yeah, pardon the embarrassment. <laughs> I'm really bad. Especially uh, with stick, uh, with a joystick. But I'm just trying to have a chill, chill, chill play session. So yeah, I don't care if I'm even, even if I'm using cheeky, cheeky tactics like going out <laughs> and stuff, cutting roads. I don't care. 
So I'm just trying to collect cars. <laughs> I'm good. I've been playing this too this month. Ah, I see. Hope you enjoy the stream. I have finished the uh, missing some racing games. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played some racing games for like a year already right now, I think. Last time I played Forza 4, but uh, I've lost and uh, I didn't have time to play again. But now I have time to play and yeah. I tried GT4 again. Just wanted to see what I can do now. Turns out I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't improve at all. <laughs> I didn't improve at all, but yeah, and just let's see what I can do. Okay, F, F challenge. What's my car? Okay, my car is FR, so I can just enter right away. Yeah, I want to see if I can. Maybe like I I I have I have a plan that maybe someday when us uh, when I'm like free. I could do like the 24 hour Nurburgring just to get the F1 car. <laughs> um, it's my car. I, my car is probably underpowered here in this race. I don't know. How many points was it again? I didn't rem I don't I didn't see. Yeah, my car is probably underpowered. Going to have to use a more elaborate tactics. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. It's okay because it's kind of hard for the. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the handling, especially style old school uh, analog, right? When you break and uh, when you break and accelerate with the right analog, it's really hard to control. Like uh, racing games today, they we can use the trigger buttons, right? The R two and L two. But in the old days of G GT four, you uh, you have to use the right the right analog. It's really hard to control the brakes and the throttle and the handling as well. You know, it's really hard. At first, I was trying to like in the license. I was, I was trying to like at first in the uh, national B. Okay, let's see if I can get all silver. And then like uh, in the fourth, in the fourth uh, license, I I I, I say to myself, ah, oh, after this, I'm 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 bronzing everything. I don't care anymore about silver, not even gold. I don't care. <laughs> Look, so yeah, I, I, I just, I just bronzed everything. <laughs> I don't care anymore. <laughs> but yeah, this game still looks good, to be honest. Even in this day, this still looks good, to be honest. It looks decent, and it looks amazing in twenty two two thousand four. It's suffering. License is suffering. Yeah, it's suffering. <laughs> and the driving missions as well. I still can't. I still can't do the. I still can't finish the. Uh, the one in New York. Oh my god! I'm losing. I need to. Yeah, I probably need to restart. The one in New York where you use the Toyota uh, classic car. Oh, I'm too far. I need to restart. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, that's why. It's a skyline. It's a GTR in front. That's why it's so hard. I only have 270 BHP, yes, probably 276, six more than me, and I probably, my car probably weighed more than 
that car, that skyline in front. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, let's ch let's do the more <laughs> cheeky cheeky tactics. Okay, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, we can do this, we can do this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't get how people could, like, get gold and, uh, and, the, and the license test. <laughs> like, all gold, and how, uh, it's crazy. Oh, shoot, 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 I'm, ah. Uh. <laughs> Overspeed there. I wish I have a steering wheel setup, you know. It's my, yeah. Set it, set it over and over again. It's my dream to have a steering wheel setup, a cockpit setup. It will be much more fun to do. Oh my god, this S2000. Probably need to buy another car or tune this one to get the skyline in front, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Oh shoot. <laughs> I'm still hungry to be honest, I want to snack more. Is it? I, I think it's bad, right, to snack at night, <laughs> but I can't. I can't refuse, I can't, I can't hold it, I need snacks, oh shoot, I crushed, I need snacks, I need a late night snack, give me the snack, it will be, it's pro it'll probably be nice to have some warm ordering from Lawson right now, you know. I don't know if the Lawson near me opens 24 hours. I could have the ordering from there. <laughs> but it's late. I shouldn't uh, go out anymore. It's late. Let's see if I can cheat here. Yep, I can. Kind of punt. Punterino. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We passed him. We passed him. Nice. Okay, you shall not pass. Uh, where should I? Where? Where do I go? I'm not very familiar with the layout of this track. Oh, it's almost twelve a. It's almost twelve a.m. Wow. Maybe a few more races and I'll take a break. You know, there's something I missed from uh, G Gran Turismo 1 is the the ability to uh, put livery on uh, in your car. Like Back then in GT1, there used to be a feature called special model and uh, it's basically just putting livery on your car and it's really cool. But the special model in this uh, in GT4 is a different, different kind of special model. I prefer the special model version system in GT1, but uh, well, the modification in this in GT4 is much better, I guess. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm oh my god.
the cookie touched my canker sore. It hurts. <laughs> Okay, a few more races, let's go. Oh, I hate this track. I just hate the layout. Let's go. Let's punt. Punterino. Let's just hit everyone. <laughs> Out of the way. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh huh. Pass. It's a BMW? Is that a BM? Yeah, it's a Beamer. Right, let's go. Come on. Okay. It's really hard to uh properly overtaken this track yeah it's really hard to overly properly overtake in this track because of the layout hmm so yeah we're doing well <laughs> We're doing well with our stock car. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think it's because we have more power though. We have more power and lighter than them. So how are your days everyone? You are... How's your day? Did you... Have a nice day. It's the middle of the week now, right? Wednesday. Have you got all? Have you all got plans for the weekends already? Like it's the middle of the week, probably already preparing for the weekends. <laughs> I actually don't don't have a. I don't have a. Uh, plan yet I might be I might be visiting someone but over the weekend but we'll uh, I'm, I'm gonna see I'm gonna cook for them <laughs> because I promised them to like bring food when I come visit them and uh, like uh, I, st I still don't know what to cook for them Right, done with this race. Two hundred sixty-six. I thought it said two hundred and seventy. How about I change oil? Let's see, is the oil good or is it bad already? Uh, GT Auto. Oil still good. Wing shop. Nar. Wheel shop. Bridgestone. Uh, I'm not gonna modify this car yet, I guess. Hmm. 
Right, it's 12 a.m. I think it's time for me to take a break. So, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for coming to the stream. I hope you enjoyed. It's a very long stream. I, I'm surprised we were... I'm surprised we went for four hours of stream already. Wow. That means we went for three hours just to do license. Crazy. <laughs> but yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. Chill and fun. I guess I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you so much, everyone, for coming to the stream. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I have a collab tomorrow. Playing A Way Out Part 3. Part three. I'm going to collab with Raimu Asukabe. I'll be streaming around 8 p.m. GNT plus 7. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you and goodbye. Have a good night.